everything that's going on lately. Uh, with the coronavirus and this panic buying and hoarding and everything like that. Got me thinking about what happens when everything runs out. And it really gets bad. And a lot of us in, uh, a lot of my followers are similar to me, firearm people, uh, preppers, things like that. And so we've got guns, we've got ammo and stuff like that. One of the things that I've always liked is uh, the idea of less than lethal options. Because I don't want to, I don't want to kill anybody, you know, I really don't. And one of the things that's always fascinated me is flashbangs. But getting a flashbang as a civilian, kind of hard to do. But what you can do is get mortar fireworks. And now the way a mortar firework works is you have your firework up here. It's got your different uh, material that does the sparkles and the stars and blah, 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 blah. But down here in the bottom is a, for lack of a better term, a lifting charge. And that's what actually propels the, the round up into the sky and does a slow burn up into the actual firework. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little dissection, take this apart, and see if it's possible to isolate just the firework part as away from the propellant to where, if I needed to, I can have a flashbang right here. So I'll bring you guys along. Using a good old Amazon uh, thing here. Get this all opened up. Alright. Now, I've never opened up one of these before. I've never even seen it done. We're going to do this together. So first things first. Let's just start peeling our way through the firework and see what it looks like. All right, now we're at just the cardboard tubing. Actually, hold that thought, I'll be right back. All right, you guys miss me? Went and got some gloves. Just because I don't necessarily want all this powder all over me if I can help it. All right, right now I'm just kinda taking off this tape that's down here on the bottom. Now, as you can see, there's a little cap here, cap there. So let's take off this bottom one. Ooh. And right there, that's the lifting charge. What I'm going to do with that is I got a bunch of these pill bottles lying around. And basically, all that is is gunpowder. that everywhere. <laughs> Don't ever think I'm a professional at doing anything. Except for nursing. Nursing, they actually know what I'm doing. Alright. And there's the inside. I'm trying to get a good view. You can see how the fuse goes across this other inner fuse. And what I'd be willing to bet is that inner fuse there is a much slower burn rate than this regular one because if you've ever looked at uh, fuses they burn at different rates let me pull you up so the theory behind this now is that because I took the lifting charge off of here that 
this should only, this shouldn't try to launch or anything like that. It should just basically stay just the way it is. Uh, I'll put the little thing back on here and then wrap some, uh, some electrical tape or something like that just to kind of make it look still pretty. But, in theory, now this is just a flashbang. And in a scenario that you have a group of people coming at you, uh, and you're in a, in a home setting or something like that, and you don't necessarily, they don't pose a, uh, what's the word, an imminent threat of harm to you, so you can't use lethal force, or maybe you don't want to use lethal force. You can launch this at them, and this will be, this is, this is a crowd pleaser right here. This, this will change somebody's mind on somebody who's not completely committed to doing harm to you. Uh, I'll add into the end of this video of me actually using this to see how it works and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, science dissection and uh, way to reuse something. Talk to you guys later.